Today we're going to install the TAC2 into a club car precedent. We're going to do this from down below. You could also do it from up above by pulling the batteries out and removing the controller mounting plate. As you can see, we've already removed the controller from the vehicle. We've also removed the plastic casing from the bottom of the vehicle. This will uh, allow us to show you what's going on here a little bit easier. Now, if you have the onboard computer on your club car, what we'll need to do is we'll need to remove one bolt from it. And we'll be replacing this with another bolt to hold it back in. Now we're going to install our mounting plate for the club car precedent. And we're going to use the bolt hole that we just took out. And then we'll just tighten up the bolts. Okay, next we'll install the TAC2 controller. And now we'll just tighten up the four bolts we just installed. Next we'll hook up our battery negative cable. Then we'll hook up our phase cables. Now what we're going to do is we're going to reuse two of the cables from the original uh, motor harness. So we'll use the green and the white wire, or green and white cable, and we'll hook them up to the W and the V terminals. And then we'll add our own cable, which is included in the heart, in the with the kit, and we'll run that from the U back to the motor. And the last thing we'll do is we'll hook up our battery positive cable. Now, in your kit, you'll have received a B plus cable. We already have it hooked up to our solenoid here. So we'll just run it around and we'll hook it up to our B-plus terminal on the controller. The resistor terminal is not used on the club car precedent. So we'll just tighten the bolt into it. Next, we're going to need to plug in the OEM vehicle harness into the module. Then we will plug in our motor sensor harness. And our on-the-fly programmer. And that's the end of the TAC installation into the club car precedent.